Hmm. Yeah. At the moment, I'm currently coming up with the idea that I think I'm going to change my name from Jonathan Curran to Nez Manga, or either that's going to be my first and second name, or I can't decide if I'm going to put it as Nez hyphen Manga and has it all as my first name, or, you know, if I want to maybe add it just as a middle name but I'm definitely going on under the artist name now of Nez Manga so if anything says like Jonathan Curran it's probably going to say something along the lines of Jonathan, Jonathan Curran presents Nez Manga but I'm actually thinking of legally changing the name by deed poll don't know how much that costs to Nez Manga so I can have cards that say credit cards that basically say Nez Manga uh, <laughs> I can answer the phone and say Nez Manga speaking um you know, introduce myself as Mr. Manga, or just, you know, Nez, Nez as a Nintendo entertainment system, <laughs> no joke, and my friends were saying, so, they don't, there's a, there's a, some sort of made up language that we've got, you know, uh, originated from our friend Solomon, this Filipino, so sometimes he would brand me saying, mm, Manga, so they were, <laughs> probably spelt differently, so, like, oh, Mr. Manga, I'd probably get used to being called that as well. Mr. Manga. Mr. People asking, why do you want to change your name or change your identity? Go, well, a lot of famous people did that. A lot of famous people that, you know, we watch on the, on TV and movies and stuff, that, that wasn't their proper actual name. Um, Aston Kutcher, I believe, changed his name. Uh, Michael J. Fox, I believe he just added the J. I don't even know if that even fucking stands for anything. Bring on Back to the Future 4, man. Bring on Back to the Future 4, you know. Yeah, I want to see that movie. <laughs> it, it, it probably will happen. But only if somebody like me gets involved by doing a fucking blog like this, you know. Um, who else? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, okay, so I came up with two. Yeah, yeah. That was good enough for me. Literally good enough for me. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Hmm. Worked on a track as a, as the title uh, for, with my new uh, ti title is Nez Manga, but it's it's not ready. I played it to my sister. She laughed during the rap bits, but I listened to it uh, on a PC and it's not finished yet. It's 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 better. It's definitely better sounding. This this new edit of it. It's called Go Nintendo. It's not actually ready yet for me to put on. But when it is, I'll just you know cut and paste it with some holiday shit. You know, it's about three minutes long and. I've got some random video that's literally like three whole minutes of just done on the iPhone 4. iPhone 4 has pretty got some pretty good sharp audio recording sound quality. It's kind of like the Lin or the which is better than the Bang of Bang and Olsen, you know, which is, you know, fucking good sound quality. It's very sound quality. In fact, the iPhone 4 is fucking amazing at everything apart from receiving phone calls. Yeah. Apart from receiving phone calls, especially if you go abroad, it's fucking damn near, you won't even get any service with an iPhone 4. It's a brilliant mini laptop computer that can do anything, but receiving phone calls is shit. Even with the fucking bumper, it, it doesn't work. It's perfect if you don't like being bothered all the time. So you might want to buy an iPhone 4 if you don't, if you get too many, if you're too popular and you get too many calls, just get an iPhone 4. No one will be able to get a hold of you. Receiving texts, not so bad. But the minute you go abroad, fucking forget it. <laughs> it's a fucking joke, man. Honestly, what the fuck? 